My name is Bill Story, and I welcome you to our podcast series called Going Through the Retirement Door Successfully. This podcast series is brought to you by Olderhood.com, which is a leading online retirement community around the world with over 70,000 followers. Olderhood discusses the issues for people approaching retirement and for people already in retirement. This podcast series is therefore appropriate for both pre-retirees and post-retirees. Our blog is called Olderhood and we have various Facebook pages, LinkedIn, Pinterest and membership clubs around the world. We write our own articles and produce and host our own videos, podcasts and television shows. We also provide retirement coaching services and retirement readiness assessments. The purpose of this retirement series is to focus on a variety of concerns and observations about life in the retirement years and in particular to concentrate on the emotional impact of those issues such as health matters, family issues, filling the day, boredom, still being useful in society, longevity, mortality etc. We don't provide formal financial advice but obviously the psychological impact of money matters is a major component of retirement life. I hope you'll find our style of podcast much more relaxed and casual than others We're not news readers, but prefer to chat with our members in a more normal and comfortable fashion. Okay, enough said, let's get started today. This episode is called Memory Loss. I can vividly remember things I did 40 years ago, but for the life of me, I can't remember if I ate breakfast this morning. (laughs) If you recognise that, then think about how many people there are around the world right now listening to this, all of them saying, yeah, me too. It really worries me that my memory is going. How often do we hear that? It was something we chuckled at years ago when we heard our parents say that. Now it's our turn. Leaving serious health issues aside, this is so widespread amongst us oldsters. It's not uncommon at all. In fact, studies show that more people admit to memory loss than those who don't. So you're not unique and you're, you're certainly not peculiar. You're not. A survey conducted by the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention has found that 13% of Americans aged 60 and older reported worsening memory loss or confusion than in the previous year. The following types of memory lapses are normal among older adults, but are generally not considered warning signs of dementia. For example, occasionally forgetting where you left things you use regularly, such as your glasses or your keys, forgetting names of friends or people you meet in the street or even worse, family, occasionally forgetting an appointment, having trouble remembering what you've just read, going upstairs at home and forgetting why you're there, not being able to retrieve information you have just on the tip of your tongue. These are really many more forgetful things than serious memory loss in most cases. Can you change it? Can you improve your memory? Can you turn back the clock? The answers are maybe, maybe and no. (laughs) Yes, you can do crossword puzzles, um, arithmetic puzzles, Sudoku, luminosity and so forth. Try to remember people's names by some kind of association. Write things down more, but try to remember to read the notes. Set up a Word document in your computer as your go-to place for everything. Type in your bank account numbers, credit card details, social security number, the plumber's telephone number, airline membership numbers, etc, etc. This is a tremendously valuable method of laying your hands on information when you need it. You just need to remember that you do in fact have a go-to page. You must, you must password protect it on your machine. You must also have it backed up online if you use such a service. If not, you must have one, maybe two USB sticks or an external hard drive to also back it up. Four or five separate places would be ideal. The trick, of course, is to use the computer one, the one in the computer, as the master. But you must remember to update your backup regularly. None of this is complex, so no excuses. Just do it. Okay, so those are some practical things to do, not to improve your memory as such, but to assist you in still getting hold of the information you need. Surely, the getting of the information is more important than how you get it. Of course it is. So the message this week is to convince you that unhappiness, the unhappiness that you're feeling because you're worried about memory loss can be overcome in two ways. One, follow the above to get the information 
um, and disregard whether you actually did remember it or not, and then relax. You're not going nuts. You're just not. If you are, then we all are. <laughs> if you admit to yourself that you're experiencing memory loss and have a laugh at it, then you'll slide gracefully along the happy path. It's a serious issue for many people. They are genuinely, genuinely concerned about it, but without sending too offhand and, and, and medical issues aside, memory loss is what it is. One of the trusted medical groups put it this way, memory loss is not an inevitable part of the aging process. The brain is capable of producing new brain cells at any age, so significant memory loss is not an inevitable result of aging. But just as it is with muscle strength, you have to use it or lose it. Face the facts. Your memory just isn't what it used to be, but rather than beat yourself up about it, embrace it as one of those getting older things. If your knees aren't as sprightly as they were, do you lie awake at night worried about them and cause yourself to be unhappy? No, you don't. Ah, but memory loss is far more important than my knees, you say. Yeah, that's right, but unless you're suffering from some medical problem, then accept that you just can't remember some things. But openly say, you know, I just can't remember, silly me. Go try saying that each time it happens. Once you make light of it, your happiness will take another step upwards. Ask yourself this question. Do I honestly care if I can't remember my daughter's telephone number? Here's the hint. Go to your go-to page. So here's today's takeaway. Memory loss is a serious matter for some people and just a nuisance to others. Everyone is concerned that it's a slippery path to more serious health matters. Yes, it could be. And if you feel you need to get professional help, then please do so. But generally speaking, you should accept it just as part of getting older. Okay, that's it for this episode. Next time we'll chat about other specific issues and features of retirement life. And with any luck, we might be able to help to get you through that door successfully. Contact me at bill at olderhood.com or visit our website at www.theolderhoodgroup.com. Bye for now. I'm Bill Story, now signing off. Take care.